So after some faithful years of service, it's finally time to retire my Rain 72 Mark II. It's been a great mixer. It's done pretty much everything I've wanted it to do, but it's just time for something new. So let's check out what I'm replacing it with. And here we have it, the A-Track edition of the Rain 70. Now, this might seem like a downgrade from the 72 to the 70, but I love the way this mixer looked. Uh, it's different than the original 70, so let's get unboxing and show you what this mixer looks like. Nice card with a A-Track signature on it. That's cool. Some cables, uh, some lube for the fader, pause, and some stickers. Looks like the power cable to the mixer. Let's get all of this out of here. Here we have it. Ooh. One thing I loved about this is that it's the exact same form factor as the 72. And most importantly, this deck saver will fit right on top of this. So let's take this baby out of the wrap. Man, look at that thing. I love the chrome finish. I love these rotary looking knobs, so sick. I've seen um, people talk about how you can't get this uh, chrome finish to really pop on camera like it does in person. Wow, this is really surprising. Um, it's super nice, dope. Okay, so um, through the magic of editing, I will switch this out with the Rain 72. And let's go ahead and do that now. All right, here we have it. Let's go ahead and take this out. Let's uncap everything so we can get a good look at this stuff. Man, that looks sick. I love the way this thing looks. Super nice. So let's go ahead and uh, power this thing on. Oh, there it goes. Super nice. Now, there's been plenty of reviews for the Rain 70 A-Track Edition because this mixer is a few years old, but let me describe exactly why I went with this mixer instead of other battle stop mixers that are out right now. And the main competition is really either the Pioneer DJ S7 or the Pioneer DJ S11. Now, I use those mixers week in and week out. I use the S7 regularly at some of my gigs, uh, the S11 pretty much all weekend. And while I do love those mixers, I do have some issues with the workflow of those mixers. Specifically, with the S11, you can't um, change the effects, especially the high pass, low pass, unless you have to go through the screen menu, which can be troublesome. It's hard to do it on the fly. You either have to do it through the screen on the mixer itself or in your computer with Serato settings. With the S7, it's uh, a little bit easier to set all its parameters, which I like, but the build quality on the S7, especially the up faders, it's not up to the same standard as something like this Rain 70. Now, even the S11, you do get that Magvel Pro, Magvel Pro crossfader with the S11, but the two up faders are kind of regular stock faders. They're not professional faders. and if you need to switch them out, you're gonna have to replace them with you know, other parts where with this, these three faders are the exact same, just like they are in the 72. And I love those faders, I still do. They feel great. Um, in some instances, I kind of prefer the Mag 4 fader in this, uh, just maybe because I've been using it for so long. But the fact that now I have 
two more backups if this ever goes out. And I used my Rain 72 for years and never had an issue with it. So I'm pretty sure that the faders in here are gonna last a long time. Uh, the other thing too is this is the first mixer, two channel battle mixer, I think out of the four of those, the 7072, the S7, S11, where you can actually dial in the BPM of the effects on both of the Pioneers and on the 72 Mark II, you actually have to tap it in and there isn't a way to dial in a specific BPM like you can do on four channel Pioneer DJ mixers. And that's something I use all the time. Um, now with this setup, because this is a, a Serato setup, I'm not really gonna be using it that much, but in the cases where I wanna set up CDJs or my Denon SCs, having to BPM tap in the effects was always a pain and just being able to dial it in is so much faster. So if I wanna practice on sticks, I can just hook up my media players to this mixer and I can get the same experience that I would get pretty much as far as effects are concerned and moving, you know, the mixing with the EQs and the filters and everything else. So I super appreciate that. I really wish Pioneer would add that to their two battle style mixers like they have it on their four channel mixers. Rain, thank you for putting this one. I asked for years to put on the 72 and they never did. But all in all, the, just the way this looks, the fact that this is a limited edition, the fact that it has features that the other three two, two channel battle style mixers don't have. And most importantly, just, I love this form factor. I love the way the layout of this mixer is. And I've been wanting it for a while and I, you know, finally got it. Um, another big reason I got it is these have seemed to go um, out of stock uh, recently, which leads me to believe that these are discontinued and I was able to pick this one up for a good deal uh, definitely check eBay there's some really fire deals on some new ones or some refurbished ones and I didn't want to miss out on this and picking one up new so I'm glad I got it got it for a good deal and I'm excited to get down with this moving forward and yeah always nice to have good uh, always nice to have new DJ gear out there um, so excited to test this out and mess around with it some really cool features in this that it didn't go over, but I just wanted to give you my um, opinion of why I actually picked this up for myself and just wanted to share with you guys. All right, if you guys are interested in more DJ related content, please be sure to click on one of the videos right here and catch you guys in the next one.